Hi everybody, this is Ellen. In this video I'm going to talk a little bit about and do a little tutorial on some Decadin. Um, this stuff is super cute. I love like just kind of um, the, I kind of think of it as kind of found art where you just put all the cute things on there that you can think of and um, it just looks adorable. Um, in the past I have done some of this but generally I kind of stayed away from it because I thought that it could get kind of expensive because um, for one, people are use, doing it a lot in their phone cases, and although super cute, um, sometimes finding phone cases, especially if you have a new phone, could be really expensive. Um, and then even if you do find them that are cheap, um, you still have to usually have to order it off online, and um, it can just be kind of a pain. And if you're like me and you want to do that to a phone case, um, I, I would not be good with having stuff all over my phone case because I'm you know putting it in my purse or putting it in my pocket, so. I never really just carry my phone so so for me other things like this is a mirrored compact um, I'm not gonna flip the mirrors around on these as I show them to you just because it would show like my camera and light and be all weird so um, but I think this is super cute and it can be something that you can do um, for cheap or cheaper than you would expect because when I've looked at this stuff in the past um, a lot of the charms and things you think you know, you want to have a specific that it actually says decadent on it. Um, they're a lot more expensive than if you just kind of look around and find cute things that you can use besides. Like, um, most of the things on here are buttons, the little elephant, this little swirl, this little um, cherry branch thing. Um, this heart is actually a button with a flat back. This is part of a little, it was in a button set. Here's some beads, a couple little jewels, um, micro beads. These are beads right here. This is a little button. So, I mean, it's just all of these together. It didn't cost that much, and especially when you buy buttons, you usually have to buy three or four or five at a time, so then you have them for other projects in the future, so it's kind of a win. Um, the biggest thing is the, the decoupage, kind of the the whip, I guess. Um, that can be the most expensive. There are homemade versions. There's um, I have used silicone in the past, like actual silicone. Um, there's a certain type that you buy, and I can show that in a different tutorial because you have to kind of do some funky stuff with the um, connecting it and getting it so that you can spray it on nice. But um, this stuff can be kind of expensive. I have used, um, and what I'm going to use in this tutorial is the Mod Podge one. They came out with this a, a while ago. Um, it, this is actually kind of expensive, I think. It's $10. It's sold at Michael's and Joann's. But if you can get coupons, like for the 50% off, it's not so bad. It does last quite a while. Um, and the bags themselves, when they come, you get a bag, and then you have a little cap on it. And you get three different tips for it. And then a little cap, just keep it closed when you, if you don't use the whole bag at once, which you won't, I don't think, hopefully. So, I mean, the, that's pretty nice that way. The only thing that I don't like about these is that um, if you've ever done any cake decorating with actual pastry bags, um, you can, you're able to let the air out of these so that when you're squeezing it, you get the air bubbles. So you can kind of see one right there. You can't do that in these, so you kind of have to get used to squishing things around and things like that. So, But these are nice, and they are actually still cheaper than if you actually try and buy um, the actual whip that they would sell like um, in Japan and China worth Japan mainly where this is huge so so it's not so bad um, the other thing is what you put this on um, like these are the mirror compacts you could just find an old makeup one take out the clean it out real good but I did find recently so that I know they're still there at my local Dollar Tree stores little mirrored compacts actually I took the sticker off that one but so I mean these are out there they were a dollar because they're at the Dollar Tree um, and for these all you can do is you can either leave it like this and probably go right over the top of it or it's only a dollar so I don't feel bad about just removing the stickers on here and then I have an empty case to use and they come in a couple different styles there was this one there too um, it was the only one I found but I thought that the I'd probably go right over the top of this design here. But I thought the gold color would kind of remind me of like a food or a cracker or something. So 
that would be a good option for that. If you don't have a Dollar Tree near you, but maybe perhaps a Michaels, they sell, or even Walmart, I've seen them too, although they're maybe not ones you probably want to put the decoupage on, but uh, Michaels had a lot of these. They come in like red, pink, purple, and white, I think, but they're mirrored compacts as well. They have one side that's covered in jewels and the other side's plain, so I would probably decoupage this side or deck it in, I guess, depends how you look at it. There are also, um, these are at Michael's as well. They're little, they call them pill boxes, but I'd probably use them for like earrings or something. But you push a little button on the side, the lid pops up, and then you have a little container. And there's a little mirror here. Though it's pretty fuzzy unless you get close. Like I said, I'm not going to put show the mirror. Um, but these stickers, they do come off. They're just on like with a little piece of like tape. So you can take them off and then you can do it right on top of there. You could just do it right on top of this too if you don't want to ruin it. But um, if you're going to cover it up, it doesn't matter. So there's all these lovely options. Make sure though that when you buy a mirror from anywhere, these are at Michael's too. This one just glitter and then the same thing on the back. Um, this mirror actually is cracked on the inside. So if you can kind of open up the package and take a look at it, I think it probably just got cracked from the being tossed in the little bins. So you want something to do. And I thought that these are cute because you know you can just have them sitting around or it wouldn't be something you'd have with you all the time. So I'm going to do a decadent on one of these compact mirrors. And for, get some of my stuff out of the way here, for my little embellishments, my decadent, I'm going to use these. This is an actual, considered an actual decadent flower. Um, it's like, you can get 20 of these for five dollars, otherwise it was like this um, they had these huge kits at Michael's that didn't have very many flowers in them, but they were like $20, and I was like, that's crazy. So I just bought one with some coupons. And then some buttons, some beads, little glitter kitty. This is actually, this little swirl is the inside of one of these buttons. So I just took it off. And these were in some buttons that I got. More buttons, jewels. Um, other thing are micro beads. These can be kind of expensive as well, so um, I did see them at Walmart recently, and they were like $3 for a like a dark pink, light pink, and a silver. So, I mean, you can get them there too for cheap, but these can be kind of expensive if you get them from like Michael's or craft stores, which is crazy because it's glitter, but you know, you gotta get what you can. A pair of tweezers is helpful too for placing things, um, but... We're going to make this one white. So this is a white Mod Podge collage clay. Um, you definitely want to knead it up some because it does um, it seem like it, it's not def it's not text like the texture of frosting for sure. It's a little bit thicker. Um, it kind of seemed like it was a little dry when I opened up some other ones at first. So I just take the lid off and then you pick your tip that you're going to use. I'm going to use the star. Screw it on. And see the air bubble in there makes it kind of a pain. But maybe if you've never done any frosting of things, it won't be quite so bad. The other thing is that sometimes I've seen that they suggest that you score up the top of something. Like take um, sandpaper is one that people say usually, but... I just use an edge of the scissors. Hopefully that's not too annoying of a noise. It's not quite like nails on a chalkboard. Maybe that one was. But you just can score this up so this has a little bit of texture to it so when you put this on it'll stay better. But I mean, I haven't had an issue when I haven't done it. So, But then practicing with this first a little bit would be good because you want to make sure that um, you're getting the right design that you want. I'm just going to do star tips so but it's just a matter of picking where you want it squeezing and that's the air bubbles that I'm talking about so now it's like ah but realistically if you feel like you're not any good at putting this on it doesn't really matter because you're gonna put all this stuff on here you're gonna mess up any star texture that you really had on there so I mean it's not a huge deal if you feel like, ah, oh, that doesn't look good, or I, don't, I think I messed that up. 
So you just kind of put it on how you want. Not bad, except for I put my finger in over here. And you can make this as thick or as thin as you want it. You can do swirls. You can make it just kind of flat. There's so many different ways. And if you notice, I didn't even get, like, completely fill that up. You don't have to. So now that I have that, I just start picking my pieces that I want to put on there. And since we had a little goof, we'll start up here where that little part was messed up. This is just part of a bead set, which I actually got from Menards. <laughs> Let me just put them in there. And then, like for the beads, I always just find some way to cover up anything that I don't like. A little... It's just a beaded string that was part of like this... They were kind of ugly Christmas ornament things. And I picked it up on sale for like 50 cents. And I figured out to use it a different way. But really it's just about getting it on there however you like it because it's your kind of interpretation of something. Little kitties going in the front. I did have these all kind of set out how I wanted to put them on here, but then I goofed them when I moved them to just be like, here's what I'm doing. It sounds a little... Planning out ahead sometimes is helpful. So that you kind of aren't scrambling when you're there. Keep your fingers out of it. This is a bead as well. And as long as you hide the holes in the the fuzz, it works. You might not even need you. But then any big spaces that you feel like you have, just grab some gems, stick those in there. If you have any spots that are the um, you didn't get the decadent stuff in, just kind of poke those in there to hide them. And there's tons of beads and gems that you can poke in there. I don't know where to put you. I'll leave you. And then once you get to that, you can kind of add a little bit of the extra with the, these are the micro beads. And try not to spill them all over. This doesn't dry super fast. This stuff doesn't. So you have time to kind of decorate. I probably would have spent a little more time on it. So pretty. of white sparkle. So like that. 
I think they turn out super cute. They're pretty easy to make. This dries. Um, I made this one um, like a day and a half ago and it's pretty dry. I would think it would be fine to use for whatever to have it set out. So I mean it's definitely um, something that's kind of quick, it's fun, it's cute, it's pretty and I think they're adorable, especially the compacts. I think those are really cute to do them that way. If you have any edges that you're like, oh, I didn't quite get that close enough, you can always just come back in, add a little bit more, put on some more little beads or something so it kind of hides it. Um, it really is up to you and I think that these are kind of a great craft to kind of be creative in your own right and do all these crazy things that you um, that you really enjoy and think are adorable. Like I love these little cherry blossom things. But I hope that kind of gave you an idea. Um, I might do some more of this in the future just for fun to kind of um, have some other ideas. I just think these are cute and um, they really can be cheap if you look for um, coupons for a lot of the products. Um, use things that you wouldn't ordinarily think of. Like these are, like I had this one too, this little butterfly. Um, it was part of just a bead set for those like $2 and there's a ton of little butterflies that are different colors. So I mean you can find so many different things. It does not have to be things that are labeled specifically Decadent Charms. There are a ton of cute ones but they can be more expensive than that. You know, or you have to order them online most of the time, especially around where I live. I We don't have any places that really sell them besides the few flowers at Michael's. So um, definitely anything that you can think of. And that's the great thing about this is that it's kind of, you get to make it your own and put little cute things on there that you love and make them super cute. So I hope this was informative and helpful and um, give it a big thumbs up if you think that my little decorating jobs are adorable. So, but thanks you guys so much for watching. I definitely appreciate it and I will have more things for you soon.